Explain a little bit back, because it's Carl. The yeah. catch is Carl. Yeah. Uh, Carl. Yeah. He's a taxi driver. Yeah. He's a bit down on his luck. He's living yeah. with his older auntie. He's come out of a relationship. That's it. I've done it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And then it's just about, like, I mean, it's not real life. It's not about my life. It is made up, but it is me. You know, like you say, I'm called Carl in it. I yeah. sound like this, I look like this. But it's, it's more about the relationship I have with me head. Right. In me head. Like that conversation we all have. Yeah, it's normal, isn't it? A lot of people, when I've done interviews, have gone, oh, is it about sort of um, mentalness and stuff like that? It's like, no, we all do it. We all, you, you work stuff out in your head, don't you? Oh, it's the only time you're not going to offend somebody. That's nobody it. Nobody can hear it. Yeah. So, um, and a lot of other programmes, you know, they're, they're always about having friends around you and family to turn to, and not everyone has that, do they? So I've got my auntie there, but I don't want to tell her about all my problems and what have you. So it's just, it's me and me inner self and we're sorting stuff out. Little stories, 23 minutes each, six episodes, easy to watch. I mean, what else do you want to know? It's, it is what it is. It's pretty <laughs> well, good. Thank you very much for the coming. Main, the, main, no, the, the main thing I wanted to come on here to say is, if you're thinking it's like the other stuff I've done, don't be thinking that, because it's, it's totally different, right? Yeah. So if you didn't like the other stuff, this might be for you. <laughs> if you like the other stuff, this might not be for you, right? <laughs> So uh, just give it a go. For, this is the for... honest, most honest sell I've ever. Oh, you've got to I've be, though, haven't you? You've yeah. got to be. There's no point me sat here thinking, telling everyone it's brilliant because I know we live in a world where people <laughs> will let you know that it isn't. So <laughs> but I just... it must be. It must be good because you did, you did sort of retire, and then you yeah, did, did come yeah. out of that retirement for this. So it must have something about it. Uh, it was just something to do, though. <laughs> have did you, you get, ever? Have you, you ever? Get bored? Yeah. You have get you bored? ever done it? Have you ever been out of work for what, a bit? Retired. Yeah. Um, I have. Not for any great length of time. No. I've had like breaks. Like... Yeah, no, but that's fine. A break's good, but I did about six months thinking right. that is it. I don't have to do anything. I've paid for the house and that. And well, there's all, there are times when you are in between jobs, but this was, no, this you, was this me was going, you saying, I don't it. want to do it anymore. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I couldn't do, I mean, I'd done travel shows, hadn't I, for like five series of that, and I just couldn't do that anymore. Why? Because the whole thing was sold on me having my eyes opened and broadening my mind. And it got to a point that I'd seen that much mad stuff, that when you see more mad stuff... I was thinking, about, it must be the same for you, cos last week you had some woman on here dangling a tin of beans between her legs, didn't you? Yeah. Right. Now, you've yeah, seen yeah. a lot of mad... It's on here, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. So, does it still have an effect on you, or are you just, like, another day in the office? It's just... Well, oh, you do think that occasionally... I mean, there are times when you think... You still gracious. get surprised, I mean, She though. was clever. That was clever. It was the world's strongest vagina. I mean, you can't... You know, who yeah, can what's that going down? on, Phil? Hey? What's going on? Well, that, I mean, I am still fascinated by that. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I, I got into it wanting to educate. So oh, it was sort of... educational. Come on. It was. You looked at it and you thought, well, I've not seen that before. <laughs> no, but for me, because I'd seen stuff like that before, I'm going, oh, I know, I know the make of them beans. It was like product <laughs> placement to me. That. that was like an advert, like a mad advert to sell beans. <laughs> because what she was doing was just like, I've seen mad stuff. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't work anymore. So that's why I had to stop doing <sighs> I had to stop travelling about and have a go at something different. And I'd written books, so I knew you could sort of write ideas down and that. And this just seemed like, uh, you know... Well, how were you with you, then? So you have your... This is the retirement that you, you want to have. I've, I've done with that, don't want to do any more until something like this comes along that you're, that you're interested in. Um, but, but how are you, during that time, with you, your inner self? What were you talking about with him? What, when I was off? Yeah. Mm. Just... Um... I know, trying to work out what I'm meant to be doing, like, with that time off. Cos everybody talks about retirement being, like, the dream thing, don't they? Everyone's, like, trying to win the lottery so you don't have to work. Yeah. But take that out of your life and you sort of go, what, what am I about? What, what are you meant to do? It's, it's a bit bad. What were you worried about? Cos you're a worrier, so what were you, what were you worried just about? Just because life's long, isn't it? And you've got to fill that time <laughs> with something. And I haven't got anything. I'm not old enough to talk, it's like going down the crown green bowling with, like, all the old people and that. So it's like, what what do you do with your life? But you've always sort of had that. You've, the, you've never really I've had never an had answer plan. for that, because you've never had a plan never right had a plan. from the get-go. All, all this has just sort of happened. It's come along. Um, you know, radio I really wanted to get into as a kid. Everything after that has just been, you know, people saying, oh, why don't you give this a go? Mm. Give this a whirl. Um, and it's... I'm worried about... I mean, when you say I'm a worrier, I'm worried about this. 
I'm worried about this more than anything else I've done. Really? Yeah, I'm because you care about it most. I really care. I'm grinding my teeth that night. I just want to put it out and let people either enjoy it or not. But it's that thing of you, you try to do something different. And I don't know, it's, you're not allowed to do something different, are you? Fans of things don't want you to change. But if you don't change, then they moan going, oh, one trick pony. You can't, they don't give you that freedom to have a go at something. Well, the thing is that Holly used the word earlier on um, that I didn't, you know, actor. You are now an actor. Yeah, but are people out there going to go, OK, and I accept that? They don't. They go, get travelling again. Look at Nick Knowles. I always look at him. <laughs> the I-Y-O-S-S-S-O-S -S 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 or whatever. <laughs> Singing a songs at Christmas, wasn't he? Everyone was having a go, going, what's he playing at? There was nothing wrong with his voice, really. <laughs> but you're, you're used to seeing him with, like, you know, an hat on and a bib, <laughs> and he's singing Ed Sheeran songs. <laughs> so no-one takes it serious. <laughs> and that's the problem I've got. It's like, this isn't that. I'm having to go at something different. Give us a bit of respect, will you? And just, you know, give us a chance. Well, but I love the fact you say, give us a chance. Is it true? Because Richard Yee, you wrote it with yeah. him. Did you say on day three, because you've got the inner self stuff, yeah. so you've got, you've, you've got to record your uh, dialogue, you've got to leave pauses so that when you shoot the other one, yeah. that, that you can jump in back. With... You, did you say, can we scrap this inner self stuff? I'm sick of it now. It's yeah, the whole day, basis day of the show. Three, I know. I know, but I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be as complicated. You know, when you look at films these days, Jurassic Park, dinosaurs roaming about and everything, so I'm thinking, this is going to be a walk in the park. It's only me, twice. <laughs> but the, the, it's so complicated because of the light changing, it's all got a match. But if everything. you got your way and said, I don't, can we not do the inner self stuff? I'm sick of it. Well, it'd be about oh. 15 minutes short. <laughs> it? Because, because half the script's gone. <laughs> but I got through it, though. After day three, it was like, all right, this is the way it is. Get on with it. And I am... Um, I think I'm pretty proud of it. I never thought you I'd knock out something be. like this. You should be. I think so, you're being a bit a tough on yourself. Again, if you watch, at least watch two as well. That's the other thing, because it takes an episode to get going, to understand the backstory, to get used to me acting, to get used to inner self. At least watch two. Well, I am definitely going to watch it. That's all right. what we've seen. We've seen clips of it. It does look brilliant. So yeah. I'm sure everybody's going to it's, it's all right. It's, it's, you know, there's a lot of good telly out there at the oh. minute. There's a lot of good telly. There is a lot of good yeah. telly. Uh, but as I say, we've seen clips and it is brilliant. Sick of it starts Thursday. There's a double bill yeah. on Sky One and Now TV at 10. And you can watch it before that as well. Sky are putting it out in the morning. So oh, if you okay. want to watch it about 8 o'clock, you can watch it then. It'll be on oh, demand. For the first two episodes, anyway. All right. Well, right then. Um, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Always welcome. good to see you. Always good to see you too. Thank you very much. <laughs>